audience uh, comes into the theater, uh, what they're gonna see is um, really two experiences at the same time. Um, so we have uh, a whole slew of uh, performers, actors, musicians uh, on stage um, that audiences will be able to see and, and uh, have access to. And so they'll see um, a really amazing performance from those uh, performers. Uh, at the same time, they're gonna see uh, up above the stage uh, a story that's being told by these performers. Um, and so you're kind of seeing both the process of the story being told and the kind of final product. But the way that we do um, our puppetry, uh, we get the, um, the kind of pacing, the sort of quote unquote editing of cinema. You can move from time and place really quickly. Um, you can have scene changes. You can sort of speak in the cinematic language that movies and TV speak in, but you still get all of the great qualities of, of theater. Uh, and then there's also uh, kind of the tried and true manual cinema style of shadow puppetry that we use uh, overhead projectors. Um, and so those use also paper and other materials to create um, these really uh, beautiful shadow puppets that tell some, some of the story. I think it's the sense of um, kind of deep reflection that like is throughout the story and, and throughout the show. You know, everyone has uh, regrets and things they might have done differently and, and everyone is thinking about, you know, how do you take what you've learned in the past into the future and, and be a better person or uh, live a, a life that's truer to yourself. Um, so, you know, it's cliche to say, but like there really is something for everyone and um and this story just um it just it tells that story really really well